Surely being hit by a car running up on the curb doesn't sound like much of an accident to me. You say this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Well, two weeks ago, there was a gas leak in Scott's apartment. What did the gas company say? Broken fitting. Which could have been the result of a simple malfunction. Well, then last week, he was in the stock room of the sporting goods store he runs. A cable broke on a weight machine he was demonstrating. 250 pounds just missed his head. A cable broke on a new machine? Mm-hmm. Well, Bert, that's Scott's partner in the store, thinks that one of the stock boys assembled it incorrectly. Sharon, is it a good partnership? Oh, sure. Bert needs Scott. People come into the store just because they like the idea of buying from a former champion skier. What about competitors who have lost to him in the past? No. Even the guy he was in business with up in Aspen, Dick Guzman, they went out of business angry, but not that angry. Sharon, there is another possibility. Maybe someone doesn't want Scott to marry you. Who? Oh, no, no, not Randy. Well, he did have trouble readjusting to civilian life after Vietnam. He was in a sanitarium. You told me that yourself. Do you know where to find this Randy, Sharon? At the wedding, he'll be the photographer. Sharon, you're kidding. It's all right. He's a very good photographer, and Scott said it was all right between them. But that was before someone tried to hit Scott with a car. Yeah. Looks to me like we're going to a wedding. I think Tiffany is right. Now, Bosley, make the arrangements. Okay. Chris, why don't you start with Bert Marshall? Let's see if Scott's partner really is his partner. 